Hello! Hello, viewers, and welcome back to the Sky Stream. I'm Sky Dragon, and today we are continuing Batman the Telltale series. Last time we left off, we got into a very intense discussion with none other than Carmine Falcone, <coughs> the mob boss of Gotham. Um, and, uh, yeah, we got into a heated, uh, heated discussion and which resulted in me basically giving him the big old F you. I'm not your friend. I'm Harvey's friend. Uh, kind of thing. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and pick it up where we left off. <coughs> As Bruce partially falls asleep while in his elevator down the back of the house. <coughs> It's me. It's me. And his lights turn on. Episode one. Finally just getting started, I guess. <laughs> Realm of Shadows. A string of home invasions rippled through the city's already crime-infested East End. Apparently, the bandits are using stolen GCPD oh, battery rams to force their way in. With breaking ah, this is percent over last year. Remember to keep those front doors locked tonight. And we have breaking news tonight. Sense. Five criminals are in custody this evening after a break-in at City Hall. But thanks to the efforts of the Batman, yeah, the stolen items were returned. The, the Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved Let's find in the break in. Talk about dirty politics. Oh. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations oh, hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing yeah, campaign to I take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not uh, end. Mary Hill cannot Police expect the DA's office to execute cases on the executor other than the law. Owned by Ace Chemical. Still no Ace word chemical. on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. They're recommending people Police avoid Lieutenant the area to and lead seek task immediate force. treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. Peter Grogan has pointed Lieutenant James Gordon. Computers this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Yeesh. Carmona was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Yeesh. Bridge sometime just before uh, dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles. Criminal as the shatter, cops blah, 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 blah. Who are they mobilizing for? I don't know. I guess whoever. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded oh, sky rail cars uh, to contend with. Gotham Police. Yeah. Is that... Oops. Is that Zaz? ...are investigating multiple okay. cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds uh, from an ice pick or okay. other pointed okay. weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. Uh, a few have died... Look at the movie while tickets. ...while have been admitted to Gotham General in critical <laughs> condition. The police don't have any suspects <laughs> at the time. <laughs> Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum. Bringing the total number of escapees from the half prison, half mental hospital Gadgets. to 15 right. this year. Look at the data track. Nearly fell off a building for this? Yep. Apparently so. The latest, 44 year old twin brother and sister, Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous. I'm trying to listen to like some of the names too. Just in case any of the names are. Oh, that's cool. Just got a chair that rises up out of the ground. <laughs> It's uh much much so important. It's much better than a rolly chair. Uh, encrypted. Of course it is. It's never easy, is it? Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you Only here. In a dark, damp cave. <laughs> in front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Yeah. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Perhaps. Sure, I can see the headlines now. 
Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur. I don't know if that's what he would say, but... Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. We're finding out. Gonna find what out. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. All of a sudden, it's just like freaking thousands upon thousands of gigabytes of freaking just porn. It's like, God, Catwoman, what the hell's up with you? Oh, wait, no, better yet. Probably a bunch of, uh, a bunch of freaking, uh, this is a bunch of cat videos and stuff. Like thousands of cat videos. Okay, I guess I'm rotating it. This is a here. map of the east side shoreline. <coughs> but it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe Cat it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. I feel like it's where Can't a, make a, sense of it most yet. of the amount of uh, There's still plenty of files to decrypt. <laughs> and in the meantime... And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Why yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has oh, left, okay. including Mr. Falcone. Good. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat. I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I had everything under control. That's yeah. true. I've seen you take down worse thugs. But I'd already yeah. sewn you up once tonight, and I had no interest in a repeat performance. Yeah. For the record, oh, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Uh. Though people like Don't this cat woman thing. aren't helping. Is she new to town? She's sexy. I've never seen her before. I mean, what? Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. Okay. Uh, oh, there we go. Codex. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. I suppose I can just look at this stuff. Founders away in Enterprise. My parents. Dad was a physician. Mom was a philanthropist. Um, they worked tirelessly to help the less fortunate, setting up numerous charities and expending their vast resources to improve the city and its citizens. Murdered in an attempt of, uh, attempted robbery by a man named Joe, uh, known as Joe Chill. Current status deceased. <laughs> Alfred Pennyworth, Wayne Family Butler. Faithful patient. Faithful patient. Ever helpful Alfred. He's been a part of the family my whole life. I raised he raised me when my parents were murdered and guided me when I thought I was lost. I don't know why I'm doing this voice, but whatever. He's my butler, my confidant, and the most secret weapon in my arsenal. He complains <laughs> frequently about my nightly activities. But he's still there to patch me up when I need it. Cool. Alright. Harvey Dent. Gotham City District Attorney. Mayor mayoral candidate. A new friend in the best district. Yeah, district attorney. I, th I thought it said distinct for some goddamn reason. Uh, Gotham has ever se has seen in years. His political ambitions have always been as big as his ego, and now he's hoping to become mayor. He's got so many great ideas for how to save this city. I think he'll be good for Gotham, but I have to steer him down the right path to get there. He's too easily swayed by anyone with power, regardless of their murky morality. <laughs> Hamilton Hill, mayor of Gotham. Exhibit A in What's Wrong with the City. Hill should have been thrown out of the office years ago, but he's got his hands wrapped around Gotham's government in a death grip. He has been suspected of numerous crimes, but there's nothing, never been enough to make any of it stick. He's rotten to the core, and one day this city will realize it. Harvey's out there doing his best, and hopefully this upcoming election will be the best and uh, be the end of Hill's corrupt administration. My bad. 
Uh, I'm saving Catwoman. I'm trying to read through these things. What? Why does Penguin look like that? That's weird. He's usually short, stubby, and plump. <coughs> oh, that's why he called him Oz. Crimes. Arms dealing, illegal boxing matches, receiving stolen property. He was a childhood friend, but he's almost a stranger to me now. Just like me, his family fell apart here in Gotham. He went off to boarding school in England, and there our paths diverged. He seems to have fallen into a life of crime. The last two decades gave him a lengthy rap sheet and a strange nickname. The Penguin? What happened to you, Oz? It's weird. Why, why is he not plump and short with a pointy nose? Going wah, 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 wah. Like he's supposed to. I don't know. I don't know. Lieutenant James Gordon. Associates Barbara Gordon, daughter. He's a good by the books cop in a department that doesn't trust Batman. He was recently tapped to lead the major crime task force. An impressive promotion, so he's doing something right. I think he could be a trustworthy and reliable source of info, but I'll need to be uh, cultivate that relationship. He's a family man, so he's not willing to take necessary risks on the street. That's fine. I'll take the risks. Um, all right, well, well, I might as well read those. I'm not. I'm gonna skip the city stuff. Whatever. Um, investigative journalism. Journalists. My bad. Gotham Gazette. Vicky Bayer. One of the Gazette's most ambish, ambitious and competent reporters. I've read her stuff. Some of it can be a bit tabloid, but her passion for the truth is undeniable. She's been the, with the paper for a while, covered all kinds of beats. Someone like that has the kind of access others would kill for. She might even hear more about what's going on in Gotham than I do. One day, I may need to find out what she knows. <coughs> what about Falcone? Carmine Falcone. Skyline club owner, head of the Falcone crime family. First kind of gangster. One who try, tries to mingle with high society. He seems to have his hands in everything, including smuggling, real estate, bribery, and fraud. I could haul him in to jail, but he'd walk the next day. He could shut down one operation, but two more would pop up in its place. His empire is vast and multi-layered. Finding him hard, uh, admissible evidence is... Finding hard, admissible evidence is required for a conviction. Okay, there we go. I screwed up my thing. Founder. There we go. Cat burglar. Crimes. Burglary. Petty larceny. New criminal on the scene, tied to several recent break-ins. She's effective and doesn't leave many clues behind. Currently, the GCPD has no leads. I wish I knew more about her. So do I. Ha, 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 ha. All right. Anyway. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. Yep, you can't I step outside could. without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Yeah. Uh, whenever Harvey calls, the guy's ah. exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, ah. I'll mark ah. your ah. calendar as exhausted then. The <laughs> media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't nope. mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now. Trust me. Yeah, nobody will figure it out. noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. I have a job to do, okay? A responsibility to this city. You know why I do this. For the yeah. car, I presume. <laughs> well, the car helps. <laughs> oh, yes, you drive that thing like a bat out of hell. Yeah, the car <sighs> helps a lot. Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Nah, I'm gonna pass on it. Park I thought I area. saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? I thought I saw him. We were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that, that role more literally more. than you. 
That picture looked more like discharge how discharge illegal it. boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints. That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Mm. Unfortunately, you are. Yeah. Oswald claimed he yeah. only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Yeah. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. I think he just wants to reconnect. Criminal record or not, he's still an old friend. A lot can change over the years. If I remember I'll correctly, Oswald was fond of the old doubt, firecrackers in the toilet trick. I worry what he's graduated to. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. I but will, I know you worry. can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. Because I know, I know be obviously, careful, who Alfred. he is. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. Yeah. His park. The one that got away. I don't know what that means, but... All right. And I think that will about do it for this episode. So, for now, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave us a like down below, as well as follow us on Twitter. And if you'd like to play this game for yourself, there's going to be a link down in the description below. But for now, to everybody out there watching, whoever, wherever you are, have a good morning, good afternoon, and a good night. Bye-bye!